Hi guys, how's it going? A uh, little bit of advice about what we've seen in clinic this week, uh, which came to our attention of how uh, after hip replacement or a knee replacement, how it can go really, really well or not really, really well. So, Stephen. So I had a, a normal male come into me and he was four months post-op and he didn't get any physiotherapy beforehand or he didn't get any until that four months post-op. So he came into the clinic he was off crutches, but um, he had a uh, normal spill limb, very, very stiff in the hip. Things were still very, very weak. And um, he just wasn't really very confident moving about the place and going about his daily tasks. And that's his first time coming in, is it? That's his first time coming in, yeah. Okay. So then, if you compare that to, to what Pa's going to do, so we, we had like, <coughs> we had another lady in and she came in for some pre-op assessment. We advised her about what to do before the surgery got up and run, like built up some uh, awareness about what she needed to do, had a good understanding of what was going on and knew what was going to happen afterwards, so she was in a lot better kind of stead. Now she just came in this morning for a follow-up. She's four months post hip replacement and walked 23,000 steps over two days at the weekend and went to the gig, so, and had no discomfort. So like that's, and she's at four months versus the person that Steve was talking about, yeah. four months coming in for the first one, who's still living and just kind of regaining some normality in their life and, and getting rid of the crutches. So that's, they're the examples of how these things can go and, and you can, we see that in knees and we see that in mm. lots of like any surgeries in the lower limb like our hip replacement, knee replacement stuff. So it just shows the advantage of not only starting your, from post-op but even starting with pre-op again and yeah. um, getting, your, getting your joints in the best conditions possible beforehand and then continue it as, as early as you can really from, yeah. from after the operation. Yeah, so like it's just, it's all about understanding, uh, getting the good stuff, getting aware of what you need to do first. And we're not talking about lots and lots of sessions, again, just to reassure you, the pre-op usually means assessment, the check over from us, and we guide you through a set of exercises. That might be maximum three sessions before, between six and eight weeks before your surgery. And then the follow-up stuff, the most of these hips and knees are done after six six sessions max, yeah. I'd be saying. And it's about you doing your homework. Yeah, we just guide you. And yeah. we make sure that you're walking fine, that you're not limping, that you're building your confidence, that you're happy on one foot, that your balance is good. We do all those checks and uh, you just sail through it then. On cue.